Over recent years, the UK market has seen a growing interest in pickup trucks with potential buyers looking for a mixture of practicality, style and off-road ability. Amongst the contenders in this segment is this, the KGM Muso, a robust pickup which offers versatility and reliability for both work and leisure. In this review, I'll be taking you around the car and we'll have a look at its design, its interior, the tech that it comes with, and pretty much everything that you need to know about this pickup. Hello, welcome back to my channel, Pit Motoring. My name's Eddie, and today we'll be taking a look at the KGM Muso, the latest pickup from the Korean brand formerly known as Sanyong. So if you like new and used car reviews, please consider subscribing to the channel. Let's get into it. The KGM Muso is a pickup offering brought to us by KGM or KG Mobility, formerly known as Sanyong, who have a vast heritage of producing rugged off-road vehicles. The Muso is specifically designed to cater for those looking for a commercial or recreational vehicle. The Muso comes with an array of features which keep, which keep it competitive against its rivals such as the Toyota Hilux, Ford's Ranger, Isuzu's D-Max and also Nissan's Navara. From the moment you take a look at the Muso, it just gives you that really muscular aggressive stance and one that you'd want from a pickup truck. With this large aggressive front grille and sleek LED headlights which give it a modern look. The only downside I've found and what I would really like to see is those big bulky arches that you just want from a pickup. It reminds you of a kid opening a Tonka toy at Christmas. It just gets you all giddy. As you'll see, it's got a really large ride height, really high bonnet line. On this Saracen Plus model, we have these 18 inch black alloy wheels fitted with some all-terrain tyres. It's been an absolute doddle in the snow that we've had up north so far this week. We have some good old side steps, roof, roof rails, now towards the rear, towards the rear we have this nice boxy chunky rear end and again the departure angles on the Muso front and rear are really really good so you know that you're not going to sort of bottom out if you're on some off-road trails or around the farm as you'll see on the Muso that i've got from kgm this week i have the option of the roof rails and sliding bed cover in terms of space that we have in the bed it is massive and i would say i would open the sliding top cover but it seems to be frozen so I can, unfortunately, but you'll be glad to know that you can carry a payload of 1,100 kilos back here. So that's 1.1 tons. That is an incredible amount of weight. Plus it has a towing capacity of three and a half tons. So whether you're towing a horse box trailer, equipment for work, carrying things in the bed, you know it's gonna be capable of doing it all. So let's go around and we'll check out what the interior is like so in the back even for a pickup it's rather plush back here there is a handle on the side of the back of the seat which we can fold this forward to give us a little flat load area but we do have things such as your your jack and your spare sort of air pump in the back there isn't a ski hatch so you cannot put things through from the bed into the cab In terms of passenger space and comfort though, there is absolutely quite a lot. I mean, headroom is really good. So if you do work with some tall lads, uh, you know that they're gonna have plenty of headroom. We have heated seats back on the outer seat. There is isofix points on both outer seats. So if you're using this as a combo of like your daily work vehicle, and obviously as a family car, you know it's gonna work because you can get your children's car seats in it. In terms of storage, 
We have map pockets on both the back of the front seats. We have a decent sized door bin for storing items and also enough space to fit a rather large bottle. In terms of materials, the seats, the leather used is very nice. It's so nice and soft. You do get scratchy plastics in the back, but that is just that sort of rugged materials that you'd expect. Obviously, it's going to last uh, a long time and it's going to withstand whatever you throw at it, whether it's tools in here and mucky workmen and things like that. We do have the air vents back here, nothing else really. No USB ports for charging devices back here. So let's have a look in the front and see what it's like up there. Up in the front of the cab is where we find it a little bit more premium. We have this perforated leather, which is quite soft to touch on a main touching point of the dash. Up on the top, it's not too bad, but the design and layout is very, very good. These seats are nicely bolstered. They're very comfortable. You do have a lot of adjustability in it. In this Saracen Plus, I have eight-way electric adjustment on the driver's seat, and I have six-way adjustment on the passenger seat. In this freezing weather, one thing that I have absolutely loved and I've never been able to test in a, another car before is the heated steering wheel. And it's an absolute godsend. It has been an absolute dream. We have dual zone climate control with a nice digital display. It is a touch panel, sensitive, no buttons, no physical dials. Uh, which has been okay to use, pretty much the same as what I found in the Rexton that I had recently. Steering wheel. I found for a truck, it's quite thin. I'd have to like a nice big thick thing to grab hold of and obviously move around, but it's still nice and comfortable. We've got perforated leather on the side. Like I just mentioned, it is heated. We have all the controls that we need while on the move, which are easy accessible and nice and chunky. We have a few little buttons down here, obviously to turn the traction control off and to activate the hill descent control, which obviously the Muso has. Just down here in the center, we have the little twisty dial to get from two wheel drive, four high or four low, and that is easily adjusted even when you're on the move. I think you have to be either completely stopped or less than five miles an hour to put it in the uh, four low, but in four high, Anything under, I think, 10 or 15 miles an hour, you can automatically switch it while you're still on the move. Six-speed automatic gear transmission. Obviously, we've got the gear selector. You do have a switch for your drive modes, which there is power, eco, and winter. Up here, we've got a nice little bit of storage for our phone, 12-volt socket, two USB-C charging ports, and even another 12-volt outlet. We do have heated and cooled seats in the front, which it's obviously a three-way heated and three-way cooled. We have this 12.3 inch infotainment screen, which has everything that you need relatively easily. On the Saracen and Saracen Plus models, we do get a sat nav, which is easy to use and it's quite responsive. So is the screen, DAB radio, and we also have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, which is through a wire. As for your driver's display, it's a 12-inch digital display, really crisp and clear, simple graphics. There's not too much in the menus either. You get all the relative information that you need, such as your tyre pressures, um, obviously for your, all your, your cruise control and your lane keep assist. Everything is through that. And it's, yeah, just simple and it works. That's what you want. Oh, that's what I'd want anyway. I wouldn't want too many features through that. I don't have anywhere to store some sunglasses though, which is a little bit of a shame. But in terms of storage, we have a decent sized glove box, really big door bins. And there is two areas in the door bins where we can put a bottle, one that's either upright or angled towards the driver or passenger. In the center console, we have a nice decent size cubby down there, two cup holders and a traditional handbrake. I'm filming up at the farm where we stable our pony and 
it has been an absolute dream to have this this week. Um, we had to get a large hay bale into the horse's field the other day, and rather than putting all maximum effort into it, pushing it, uh, we just tied a rope around it and towed it into the field with the truck. So I'll pop it on screen now. Tango likes the truck. But I did a thing. I did a thing. Here for the horses. And they all seem to like it. <laughs> Just have a little look. All the horses seem to like the uh like the truck. So let's go open the bonnet and take a look at what powers this Muso. Now powertrain wise, this Muso is powered by a 2.2 litre turbocharged diesel, which impressively is rather torquey. It produces around 178 brake horsepower and up to 420 newton metres of torque. It's mated to a six speed automatic transmission, as we mentioned when we were in the front, which the gearbox is okay, it's not too bad. It can be a little bit lazy and a bit lackluster at times, um, but what do you expect from the gearbox of a pickup truck? One of the most notable characteristics of the Muso is its off-road ability, making it adept to challenging terrains and we uh, adverse weather conditions. As we looked at inside, it features a selectable all-wheel drive system, which gives you the option of switching between two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive with ease. True, true to its nature as a robust pickup, off the beaten path, it performs beautifully. It's impressive ground clearance and approach angles ensure that it can tackle rough terrain. But it's not just all that, I mean, that does sound good. But one thing that keeps it competitive amongst its rivals is its price. With entry level starting at around 28 grand. Yes, 28 grand. And you get a really robust pickup that can do it all. Daily family motoring, commercial stuff and work, leisure if you're into your biking or if you've got a horse, you can tow your horse box, you can go off road. Pretty much it does it all. It ticks that massive box, which is one thing I looked at with the Isuzu D-Max. So there's only one le thing left to do, and that's check it out on the road, see what it drives like. And when you are out driving in the in the Muso, you get that signature typical really high driving position, which is a really commanding view of the road ahead. I haven't had a single issue with this, with the weather that we've had up north recently. And I am so glad and lucky that I've actually had it this week when we've had the bad weather. Now, as you'd expect from a pickup like this, the visibility is really, really good. You get a really good view out of that large rear window. Out the front, you get a good view around. The mirrors are really nice and big, so you do get a good view of what's going on around the truck. I have found it can be a little bit bouncy, but I believe that's just from a lack of weight in the bed. It's obviously catered for taking up to an over a ton in the bed back there. So it is going to be slightly bouncy. But for everyday driving, it's been an absolute dream. It's comfortable. It rides well even on these all-terrain tyres that it, KGM's um, pickup has fitted. You do get that industrial sort of engine noise from the from the diesel engine but what do you expect for a truck you're going to get that you're not going to get something that's super super quiet the steering is really nice and light you do get a nice bit of feedback through the steering wheel brakes are good it just generally just drives just like you would find your everyday normal car and obviously with the, the great visibility, but the higher sort of ride height and the view that you get out, it's just 
really, really good. Gives you that sort of confidence whilst you're driving. Now, as with every manufacturer, safety is always a top priority, and it's no different in this truck from KGM. The Musa is fitted with a vast array of, obviously, safety and convenience technology. So you have the usual run-of-the-mill these days, lane departure warning and lane keep assist. You have adaptive cruise control, ABS, anti-lock brakes, as I mentioned, for those that are wanting to go off-roading. You do have hill descent control. We have the option of the four-wheel drive if needs be, especially in sort of this sort of weather when the roads are just covered in ice and snow. But everything is just easy to get to with the steering wheel controls, obviously your media and your climate controls. I mean, even parking the Muso is relatively easy because you have uh, reversing rear camera and parking sensors, which obviously the reversing camera is really a really good picture quality, even in the dark you can actually see what's going on. But it's just one of those pickups, like I found with the Isuzu D-Max, that you could daily this car as a family commuter and obviously use it for work, driving it around town, which is mainly what I've done this week. And it's, it's very, very good. In terms of fuel economy, for a truck, it's not that bad. I mean, in the D-Max, I averaged between 28 and 35 depending where I took it. With this, it's been around the same. But yeah, mainly just around towns is what I've done. I'm going up to the farm. I am around 24 miles to the gallon, which is commendable around town, really. So you're doing a lot of stop, start, short journeys. Whereas combined, the WLTP figure is between 30 and 35. So even then, it is pretty economical for what it is. So pretty much that covers everything for us in this, uh, obviously driving it out on the road. So let's pop back to the farm and let's uh, conclude this review. So the KGM Muso has a lot to offer potential buyers that are looking for a reliable and versatile vehicle that they can use for work and also recreational activities. With its robust build, solid performance and competitive price tag, it stands as a really compelling choice in a vastly growing and strong market. Whilst it might not have that initial brand recognition as some of its rivals, the Musos unique blend of capabilities and what it has to offer is something that you should seriously look at and if you're after a dependable workhorse and one that you can combine for work as well as daily family life then the Muso definitely is one that should be on your list. So that's my review of the KGM Muso pickup. If you enjoyed this review please do give it a like subscribe to the channel for more new and used car reviews so let me know in the comments below what do you think of the kg amuso and does it have what it takes to rival more brand recognized pickups such as the navara the hilux or isuzu's d max so thank you very much for watching drive safe i'll see you next time bye